WSI, uh, one of the big pushes this year is really global. We're making a number of investments to build out our global capability. You may know we serve airlines all over the world. One of the new features this year that we're adding is we've actually added global lightning to a number of our products. WSI has built out a global lightning network and we're continuing to expand that network. The nice thing about Global Lightning, obviously, for pilots is it's a great proxy to where there's more vigorous convection. So from a safety perspective, uh, where you may not have radar around the world, Lightning is a great proxy to fill in some of those blind spots. We've also launched a number of a forecast services. We produce operational forecasts for airlines over the world. We're taking advantage of those forecasts now and making them available to our customers through our products like Pilot Brief, Fusion, and Hubcast. Uh, these are things like where there's going to be in-route turbulence, in-route icing, hazards. Uh, you may have seen some press around some of our forecasts for the volcanic ash event. Um, so these are the types of services we're providing again. Really trying to offer pilots um, the same great uh, information they have here in North America, anywhere they operate in the globe. Another new service from WSI this year is WSI's Fusion product. Uh, this product was actually developed with a number of large airlines. And this year at this show, we're actually introducing it to the corporate aviation market. Fusion really is a real-time flight situational display. Constantly monitors weather, any, any weather conditions that may be changing that could impact a flight, uh, you'll get alerted to with Fusion. Uh, what, first, I want to talk about a couple of new capabilities here. One is uh, we've added a number of features here to really make it easier for a dispatcher or an operational user to keep track of their flight. Um, if weather conditions are changing, to plan accordingly. Uh, one is this new flight details uh, feature. So if I right click on a flight, I can bring up um, really all the information I need to know about that flight. This is a new flight details window. So the idea here is really to give you everything you need to know about a particular flight. So you can imagine that Fusion's alerted you that there may be an issue with this flight. So first thing I might want to see is the destination weather. Uh, get a complete briefing based on the destination weather. Also may want to look at whether there's any active NOTAMs for this route. So this is a new feature we have added uh, in this release. Can also look at other routes that uh, other pilots may have flown for these two city pairs. And progress is really the raw data. It's basically showing me every report that that aircraft has made in its transit. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. So we're also announcing this year WSI Hubcast, and this product is really geared towards airport operator. Uh, so what it's really trying to do is answer all the questions you might have about the airport operation, both the weather impacts and the arriving and departing flights. All right, so Hubcast really provides a complete view of the airport and what's going on at the airport. So here we're looking at DCA. What you see out here are the current conditions for the airport. So as an FBO operator, I certainly would like to know what the temperature is, whether there are any winds that might affect how I handle my passenger traffic. Also can down here, I can see all the arriving flights. So if there's a particular flight I want to track, I can enter the flight ID over here and get the particulars on its estimated time of arrival. If I want to look out in the future, I can also see what the 10-day forecast is going to be for the airport as well as get more details on the hourly forecast. So maybe I'm trying to look at what my arrival flights, what the weather's going to be in the afternoon. Maybe I need to plan to have an umbrella ready to go out and get the VIPs off the aircraft. The other thing you'll see here, again, is we're, we're trying to bring together not only the flight decision support for the airport, but also weather decision support. So we offer a, a lightning alerting capability. Uh, so if there's lightning within a certain uh, radius of the airport, it'll alert um, the user either via uh, the display here or SMS text message. All right, one of the things you can do with Hubcast Alert is pop out the map to take a closer look at the weather in the area. And like Fusion and like Pilot Brief, you have uh, complete control here. You can think of this as like Google Earth with all your weather and flight data. So I'm going to zoom in. So here I can see all my arriving and departing flights. They're, they're color-coded to show you which ones are the arriving and which ones are the departing. 
Uh, as you can see, I have a, a weather picture here. It's showing me there, here's a stronger thunderstorm, thunder cell, uh, thunder shower um, down here. And I can see where it's going to be in the next 15, 30, 45, and 60 minutes. So if I'm operating this airport and I'm trying to figure out the timing of a thunderstorm, when it's going to hit the airport, when's it going to clear the airport, so I can plan my operation accordingly. I have access to a lot of the same weather information that is available on some of the other WSI products. So here's graphical METARs. So I just turned on the TFRs, temporary flight restrictions. Also can see uh, the, the National Weather Service SIGMETs, convective SIGMETs. So again, I'm, I'm getting a, here's a convective SIGMET right here off of the coast. And I can zoom back out to take a broader view. And again, I'm, I can track all my flights and my weather right here in one single display. So now I'll pop back out to the main dashboard for the airport. And that really wraps it up. Now, another moment of freedom from Sirius Aircraft. Freedom through safety. Perhaps the ultimate freedom is confidence, assurance, and peace of mind. We design it into every personal aircraft we build. It's the security that comes with knowing you're flying the plane with a parachute. The breakthrough concept that launched the Cirrus phenomenon. Another new capability we've introduced this year at MBAA is the uh, airport details. Again, the whole concept here is you get alerted to a problem that's occurring with the flight um, and you quickly want to look at your options, maybe take some action um, and to uh, mitigate any uh, delay or any impact you might have on that flight. Here you can see a Raleigh, I actually have an alert, an airport alert. So I can right click on the airport. And now I pulled up all of the details for the airport. So this looks very similar to the flight details menu, but now it's very airport centric. So again, I can get all of relevant information for that airport. I prefer decoded as opposed to coded format. Uh, also can get all the relevant airport notams for uh, Raleigh-Durham. If there's any air traffic programs that are in, in effect here at uh, Raleigh, I can get a briefing on that as well. Uh, so here you can see if there's any traffic flow initiatives. Can look at the demand over the past few hours. So I get a really complete picture of what's going on at Raleigh Airport. You can see a list of the arriving flights and the departing flights. So again, from a workflow perspective, what we're trying to do is really streamline your decision making here. So we talked about WSI's uh, developments for this year, really a big push globally. We now have introduced products. We have our WSI Pilot Pre product, which is the leading product for uh, professional pilots. Uh, this year we're announcing both WSI Fusion, which is really geared towards a real-time operation and flight decision support. Uh, really used by a dispatcher or operator at a large flight department or even a commercial operator. And we've also talked to you about WSI Hubcast, which is really geared for an airport operator, uh, both in terms of managing flight arrivals and departures at that airport, but really any other weather that might impact that airport operation. Uh, so we provide a complete uh, suite of tools, really to manage your flight through all phases um, and ensure you get there safely and on time.